Guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and welcome. Um, so what did I want to talk to you guys about today? Oh, well, I'm sure you saw the title of the video. Yes, there is more drama with the Genesis Coupe. Um, but it's probably, it's not mechanical more than it's, um, <sighs> it just sucks, okay? So basically what happened was, if you're new and don't know the story, I had a black R-Spec that I totaled about almost a month and a half ago. Um, so I ended up picking up another one, not an R-Spec though, just a base, um, two liter turbo, um, Gen Coupe. And it's come out looking pretty good so far has its um issues because the previous owner kind of sucked sorry um and so i called the dealership because i haven't gotten my plates yet and they're supposed to mail them to me well today i found out the reason why i haven't gotten them is because a vin verification needs, verification needs to be done be done sorry it's hot in here um and that's just something that connecticut requires which I wasn't told this when I bought the car, but apparently I was supposed to be told this um, according to somebody who works at the dealership. So, what does it take to get a VIN verification? Well, um, apparently all it takes is going through emissions. Um, certain cars have to go to the DMV. So, I went through emissions, and I guess all they need to see is the um, VIN number. So... <laughs> I do have to say though, there's some things that didn't pass. And if you guys recall, I don't have a cap um, on the car. I do have the one that I took off my R spec. So here's what um, I've got five codes. Um, one of them is a P0136, and it's the O2 sensor circuit bank one sensor two. If you guys are having that issue, it's P0136. Um, the next one is P0140, and that's the O2 sensor circuit, no activity de detected bank one sensor two. Um, and that is P0140. The next one is P0172, system two rich bank one, P0172. The next is P2187. System two lean at idle bank one. P2187. On an undercut. No, I'm kidding. Um, and then the last one is P2261 turbo slash supercharger. No, I don't have it. Both. I only have one. Bypass valve mechanical. I have no clue what that means. But that is P2261. So... Those are the issues I'm going to have to take care of. Um, and I think most of that will be solved by just putting in the uh, catalytic converter um, and going back and retesting. Well, driving it for a week or so and then going back to retest. I have 60 days, so we're good there. Now, um, if you guys don't realize, well, you guys aren't going to realize, um, yeah, I start, I tape this or I recorded and... Um, I was upside down on part of it, so I re-recorded. But I want to show you guys what came in the mail. As Dion, Donnie, Spence, Keith, and all the everybody else is sending me texts at the same time. Yes, I'm using my phone. Um, but here's what came in the mail. Ta-da! The limited slip diff. Um, I know you guys were saying you got to get another LSD. You got to get another LSD. Well, I've got the LSD right here in this box that says heavy or he. Um, so, yes, this bad boy. Whew, whew, wow, I can curl with this. All right, anyway, this bad boy is going to go in the gen as soon as possible. Get a little bit cleaned up. It's a little bit greasy, even though it's going to get greasy when it's in there. Um, but this makes all the difference for, well, one of the differences for these cars. Fortunately, the guy was smart enough to send me the, the caps that go on this and the shims. So the only thing I'm really going to need to do is take, obviously use the bolts and the, uh, ring gear and, um, put this bad boy in. 
Um, obviously change out the uh, diff fluid and things like that, but we'll be uh, back to the LSD in no time. So let me know what you guys think about that and stop looking at my feet, okay? They're, uh, yeah, they're ugly. Anyway, so um, we're gonna get that stuff in. I'm gonna have to talk to um, Donnie Spence, Dion Richard, one of those guys. Um, and uh, definitely so we can use their shop and things like that because they have a lift. Everything's easier with a lift and I know they're busy. They've got customer cars they're working on. They've got their own cars they're working on. The hotness, we're a crazy crew. We got some cars. Well, I have a car, they have cars. Um, and some hotness ones too. So um, we'll talk to them about that. We're also gonna um, put the uh, diff mounts in because I do have all four because I did buy that I, the ISR um, kit. So that way we can get this all set. I'm also trying to figure out that shaking in the steering wheel. I actually have a theory about that. So I'm thinking it's either my tires, but the other wheels were doing it too. Or I'm, I'm curious and I'm wondering if it's the uh, front sway bar, if it has something to do with that. Cause it's just, I can't think of what would cause that. Um, the shaking of the steering wheel between 60 and 80 miles an hour and then it calms down doing like 90 to 100. No, I don't go that fast. 55 all the time. Um, and it also does it below, it doesn't do it below 60. Um, but so if you guys are having that same issue, let me know what you guys think. I, I was also told that it could be the rear, um, the rear mount for the uh, drive shaft, the rear drive shaft mount. So we'll see, I did end up buying that too. Um, and then as far as what's gonna go on this weekend, um, and again, I'll be filming that with my regular camera, um, but what's gonna go on this weekend, we are gonna put in the cat, cause that has to go in, ah, my foot. I shouldn't wear shoes out here, yeah, that shit's gross. Um, uh, the intercooler is going to go back in this weekend. We've got, again, the, um, air intake is going to go back in. Um, yeah, I know it's coming. It's coming. She, she's a very freaky girl. I'm going to stop now. Um, obviously we're going to take the green shit out of the car and put that back, put that in. And then we've got all these lovely parts here, the Brembo's. The ISR turbo kit, the um, ISR turbos around here somewhere, right there. We've got the ACT uh, flywheel. We got to get a clutch or a clutch plate, excuse me. Um, we've got, ah, we've got the uh, HKS super sequential blow off valve. Uh, we've got Depis work, De Dietz works, um, fuel injectors. We've got, a whole but the ISR intake turbo Evo 9 turbo kit. Oh, I already said that. Um, yeah, so if you guys haven't are new to the channel, haven't watched the other videos, that's what's going on. I mean, again, right there, that is my list right there of stuff, and I've documented it all in other videos and things like that. So Trust me, you guys will be happy. Um, again, if you've been on the channel this whole time, thank you. And you guys already know what's coming. Thanks to you for all, you know, your comments, you know, your support. You're adding, you're adding to the project and things like that. I really appreciate it. Um, so we're going to get this going for you and things like that. And we're going to get it going soon because obviously, again... We want to get this in. We, we want this in. We want to get it tuned. We got that hall tech waiting in the house. Um, and we want to get it tuned. Again, let me know if you guys think I should keep the valve cover like this. Um, I know you guys are going to be like, well, your car's silver now. But I think it'll go. And I think it'll go with the whole theme. Um, because the theme kind of changed. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm not going to freestyle because you know I'm not Aaron. Um, I can't drop the hot beats. You got to realize we can either rap, uh, play sports, dance. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Um, play bass. Fee, that was for you. Um, no, I can't. I can only play sports.
Sorry, I have no rhythm. Um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, and um, definitely, if you're new and haven't hit that subscribe button, hit it. Comment. Thank you guys for coming back. Thank you guys for watching. And as I always say, make no limitation your only limitation. Peace.